All right, folks, I'm here in Suriname, and I'm going to just walk around. I'm near a mosque, which is next to a synagogue, and I'll show you around. Today is Sunday, so it's not much going on today. That's the uh, mosque. It's called the SIV Mosque. And across the wall is a synagogue. So kind of have like the Muslim, but the Jewish uh, piece going on. Hello. It's beautiful. It's a mosque. You're from Indonesia? Yeah. Ah, but Muslim, yeah. It's beautiful. Okay, thank you. Uh, there's uh, a lot of Indonesians here in Suriname, and uh, most Indonesians are Muslim. Okay, let's walk to the synagogue. Like I said, it's Sunday, not much going on. But it's good for me to be walking around Sunday because uh, otherwise there's a lot of traffic jams. There's the synagogue. The uh, synagogue seems to be uh, much more secure than the mosque. All right, so basically I'm going to walk to the presidential palace and then I'll end the video at, there's a sign that says, I love Suriname. That's my rental car over there. I have to walk all the way back. So I guess I could talk a little bit about um, what's been going on here. Uh, when I came to the airport, I had to buy a tourist card. And 
for the tourist card, you have to pay uh, 35 US dollars or 30 euros. How are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. From Suriname. Yes, but, yes, Suriname. But uh, Havanese. Chipson from Suriname. Chipson. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, overall, the people of Suriname are, are very friendly. So let me get back to my story. Um, I came to the airport. I need a tourist card, which uh, costs 35 US dollars. All right, so you have to uh, pay cash. You can't pay credit cards or anything. The, or you can pay euros, so, uh, which is 30 euros. So. If you come here, make sure you got 35 US dollars or you have 30 euros. What else? Um, taxi to the city, you can pay 175 Suriname dollars or you're going to pay 25 US dollars. You'll get a ride from the airport to the city and that's gonna take about an hour but there was so much traffic when I came in it took almost two hours uh, you can see there's not much going on today everything looks kind of old beat up When you're driving here, the, the drivers are, are quite respectable. They won't try to run you over or uh, let you cross the street. When you're driving, uh, you know, they let you in, stuff like that. So you got to remember to do the same for them. All right, so I'll talk more about Suriname here. Let's see. Uh, when I wanted to uh, rent a car, uh, when he come in and at night, uh, a lot of the car rental agencies are closed. Even though I had a reservation, there was nobody there. That's the second time that's happened to me. I've come here before and uh, I would say at the airport, the car rental agencies are not very reliable. Uh, so I rented a car here and it uh, I had to pay for a higher end car which is a Subaru Impreza all wheel drive and that cost me uh, 52 US dollars a day which yeah, that's quite a bit of money some skaters are making videos
that looked like a nice way to walk, but I'm walking to the presidential palace. And also, uh, when you drive, um, they're driving on the left side of the street, which is the opposite of the United States. So you have to be weary of that. But uh, I used to, uh, I lived in Japan for five years. Uh, some people don't know that. I lived in Japan five years and uh, they also drive on the left side. After about one year, I mean, after, after about one day, I was able to uh, get used to driving here. I don't know why, but my camera keeps shutting off. It's just very frustrating. All right, so this is the street that will lead to the presidential palace. I think maybe it's gonna take six minutes to walk there. All right, more talk about Suriname. <laughs> My camera shut off a couple times and when it does that, I just, I lose uh, track of, I was gonna talk to you guys. Um, I'd say there's a, a big percentage of uh, African descent people here. A lot of Asians here. Uh, we have people from Indonesia, have Chinese here, have people from India here. You have the indigenous people here. The official language is actually Dutch, which in my opinion, this Suriname becomes the most uh, unusual country in South America. Actually, I think this is the most unusual country in all of the North, South or Central America. The Basilica Minor.
Sorry, I keep chopping up my talking to you guys. Um, let's see, I was talking about the people. I already did that. Uh, official language is Dutch. Uh, people, most people I've seen can speak some English. Um, I, I have met, I have met some people that can't speak English, so uh, once in a while I have a problem. I've been to some businesses where everything's in Dutch and uh, they don't offer nothing in English. As far as money, they have the Suriname dollar, which is 7.5 Suriname dollars equals one US dollar. That's about. And uh, just about any of the major businesses will accept your uh, US dollars.